Dear viewers, welcome to our channel, GVS Bank Academy. Now, today I am going to discuss about FEMA Foreign Exchange Management Act 1999. Important sections. FEMA, important sections. This FEMA is very, very important for JAB, all the three papers, CAB, BFM and all scales promotion examinations. All scales promotion examinations also this is very important act. Now we are conducting JAB and CAB classes November and December 2022 exams. We are also planning for promotion examinations. Initially 3 to 4 and 4 to 5 for all banks and all scales. All banks 3 to 4 and 4 to 5. Foreign Exchange Management Act 1999. What are the some important sections? Now there are total 49 sections are there. In the PEMA, Foreign Exchange Management Act 1999. 49 sections are there. This PEMA Act came with effect from 1st June 2000. 1st June 2000. Earlier, FERA, Foreign Exchange Regulation Act is there. In the place of FERA, Foreign Exchange Regulation Act, FEMA came into picture with effect from 1st June 2000. 1st June 2000. This is also important question from examination point. When, what is the effect date of FEMA? 1st June 2000. Under FEMA, the liability, the liability is civil liability. Under FEMA, Foreign Exchange Management Act, the liability is civil liability. Whereas earlier, under FERA, Foreign Exchange Regulation, Regulation Act, FERA, liability is criminal liability. Under FERA, liability is criminal, whereas under PREMA, liability is civil liability. That's why I had made it highlighted. Now, Section 2E of PEMA Act. Section, these are the section, this is. Section 2E of PEMA Act, capital account transactions. Capital account transactions are controlled by RBA. Capital account transactions are controlled by RBA. Capital account transactions definition, which transactions alter the assets or liabilities. Capital account transactions definition, which alters the Assets, alters mean change the assets or liabilities. Examples are external commercial borrowing, ECB. Capital account transaction examples, ECB, external commercial borrowing. Second one is foreign institutional investments, FII, foreign institutional investments. Third one is FDA, foreign direct investment, foreign direct investment. Fourth one is foreign currency convertible bonds, foreign currency convertible bonds. Bonds which are issued in foreign currency, these bonds are going to be converted into equity at a later point of time. That is called foreign currency convertible bonds. So, examples of capital account, ECB, foreign institutional investments, foreign direct investments, foreign currency, convertible bonds. These are the direct examples. And these capital account transactions are controlled by RBA and this, any capital account transaction which alters the assets or liabilities. Whose assets or liabilities? A resident in India, his assets are liability to change abroad. That is also capital account. Any NRI, non-resident Indians, whose assets are liability to change in India, that is also capital account transactions. For these capital account transactions and convertibility, 96-97, Matarapur Committee was um, initiated some recommendations around. Section 
2j comma at section 2j current account transactions current account transactions are controlled by ministry of finance current account transactions are controlled by ministry of finance second one is definition for current account transactions are other than capital account transactions any transaction other than capital account transaction the transaction is called as current account transactions what are some examples of current account transactions payments in connection with foreign trade payment in connection with foreign trade means export and imports payment in connection with exports to imports comes under current account short term borrowings short term banking or credit facilities means short term borrowings also comes under current account transactions payment of interest on loans any payment of interest on loans also current account transaction net income from investments any investments you had invested abroad on that investments you are getting some income interest income dividend income that also current account transactions remittances from india to abroad remittances from india to abroad for living expenditure of parents parents are residing abroad you have to send living expenditure spouse children residing abroad further expenditure in connection with foreign travel expenditure in connection with foreign travel current account expenditure in connection with education medical care of parents spouse children all will come under current account transactions they are asking in the examination very minutely examples of current account transactions examples of capital account transactions section 2 u section 2 subsection u fema act person includes who is a person an individual hef company or a firm an association of persons or body of individuals every artificial jurisdiction judicial person so this all will includes person an individual hef company firm association of persons individuals body of individuals every artificial jurisdiction person this is also important from examination point who is a person resident in india to subsection 2 to subsection v person resident in india any person residing more than 182 days during the previous financial year in india he is a person resident in india a person resident in india means residing more than 182 days during the preceding financial year in india person resident non resident in india means a person who is residing more than 182 days abroad more than 182 days abroad is residing is called as non resident in india section 5 current account transactions under current account transactions any person may sell the foreign currency may draw the foreign currency foreign exchange without any limits current account transaction any person may sell may draw foreign exchange and for current account transactions inr indian rupee is fully convertible for current account transactions inr is fully convertible no restrictions from rbi side for current account transaction that's why this is called as INR Indian rupee is fully convertible for current account transactions partly convertible for capital account transaction that is there next 6 capital account transactions here it is the definition 2e now capital account transaction any person may sell or may withdraw the foreign exchange foreign currency the limit up to admissible for such transactions any person may sell order of foreign exchange or foreign currency as per the limits approved as per the limits specified by rbi 
for such a transaction. So limits are there for capital accounts transactions. RBI is imposing some limits for each and every transaction. Within that, we can draw freely. Beyond that limit, you have to take RBI. Prior approval is required. That's why INR, Indian rupee is partly convertible for capital account transactions because RBI restrictions, limitations are there. That's why. And capital account transactions are controlled by RBI, Reserve Bank of India. Now, Section 7, FEMA, Section 7, Exports of Goods and Services. Now, which section deals with exports of goods and services? Directly, they are asking in examination, Section 7, FEMA. After completion of export, the exporter had to submit of export declaration form. After sub completion of shipment, exporter had to submit exchange declaration form with the export value is received. They have to give a submit without any delay. As for specified time norms, the process has to be received without any delay. So party had to submit the exchange declaration form and he had to give a certificate that the value is received without any delay from the exports. So exports of goods and services, section 7, direct question they are asking. Now, eight, section 8, realization and, and repatriation of foreign exchange. Particularly, some RBI norms, guidelines are there for realization and repatriation of foreign exchange. Example, for exports, the entire export process has to be realized, realization and repatriation within nine months from the date of shipment. Realization and repatriation of export process within nine months from the date of shipment. It shall take the responsible steps. Exporter, the party had to take reasonable steps to realize the foreign exchange, to realize the export process and to repatriate to India within the given time. Now, so not only realization, but the amount has to be repatriated, coming back to India within the specified schedule norms given by RBI. That's why export of goods and services are important. Realization and repatriation is also important. That's why section 7, exports of goods and services. And 8, realization of exports of goods and services and repatriation of exports of goods and services process. That is also important for us. So 9, 8. 10, section 10, we are discussing only important sections. That too, from JAB examination for all three papers, accounts, legal, principal. CAB, this is important for BFM, ABM and retail banking also. Section 10, authorized person. Authorized person means authorized dealer. They have to take authorization, license to deal in foreign exchange from RBI. Prior permission from RBI to deal in foreign exchange they have to take. Now in this category, authorized dealer 1, authorized dealer 2 and authorized dealer 3 are there. Now we are discussing about authorized dealer 1 means schedule banks. Schedule banks, their head office, treasury branch they, means they are directly deal with foreign exchange. AD1, authorized dealer, AD1 category branches are directly do deal with foreign exchange. And authorized dealer branch, one, they are allowed to open nostril account abroad. So, AD1 category, they are allowed directly to deal foreign exchange, all kinds of transactions. Number two, directly they are allowed to open nostril account abroad. That is called authorized person. Means prior authorization, prior license from RBI is must. Section 10. Section 13, penalties for contraventions of FEMA. What are the penalties if any company, any firm or any person violating the FEMA provisions? Contravention means violations. He shall be liable to a penalty up to three the sum of involved in that transaction, contravention, where the amount is quantifiable. 
where the amount is quantifiable, where the amount is measurable, the penalty is three times the sum of involved in such a contravention. Amount is measurable, amount is quantifiable, penalty is three times of the sum of the transaction. Where amount is not quantifiable, where amount is not measurable, maximum penalty is up to 2 lakhs. Amount is measurable, 3 times of the amount. Amount is not measurable, up to 2 lakhs maximum penalty. This question also they are asking in the exams. Further, penalty which may extend every day 5000 rupees, the, pen, the mm, contravention continues. Even after awarding the penalty, the contravention continues along with the above penalty. Every day they have to pay 5000 rupees till compliance. Till compliance. This is about section 13. Section 35, very, very, very important. What is that one? Under FEMA, under FEMA, any question related to interpretation of loss. Suppose, as of the, so many interpretation of differences are there in related to interpretation of loss. Maybe point to point. At that time, appeal can be made from special court to high court. Normally, FEMA deals with all the FEMA violations are de um, dealt with special court, designated special courts. Any question of law, interpretation law arises from special court, appellate court, to, it can appeal to high court. High court. Then, then afterward from high court to Supreme Court. This question also they are asking. Under FEMA, for question related to interpretation of law, any question is there, appeal can be made to first high court, then Supreme Court, Honorable High Court and Honorable Supreme Court. This is um, section 36, appointment of director of enforcement. FEMA entire activities are going to be deal by enforcement of directorate of enforcement. Special, the central government shall establish a director of directorate of enforcement with a director such and other offices. So FEMA is a special act. For execution of this special act, central government shall establish a director of enforcement. D, director of enforcement with a director appointed by the central government and with such other officers, uh, they can continue the execution of the MI Act. So these are some of the important sections, some of the important sections under Foreign Exchange Management Act. Now, from the last two to three years, from various examinations, that is JAB all papers, CAB all papers, promotion examination of all scales and including descriptive paper. Some banks, the promotion exam scale 4 to 5, 5 to 6, descriptive papers are there. In that descriptive papers also, they are asking what are the differences between current account transactions and capital account transactions. Otherwise, what is meant by current account transaction? What is meant by capital account transaction? What are the examples of current? So, by taking into consideration of all the things, uh, this presentation was made by on behalf of our academy. Thank you very much for all. And we are already started the JAB and CAB online classes for November and December 22 examinations. Any interested members are there requested to contract huh, on the given numbers. Thank you very much for all for extending support to our channel. Thank you very much for all.